My father and her mother, his mother, made whiskey in Prohibition just for some extra money. They had a farm and they turned the grain into uh, something with a little bit more added value for them. And so I've been with this for all my life. Even myself, I guess for the last 10 years, I've wanted to move to Mexico and we decided we'd come down here to Boca and just fell in love with the place. Our recipe, the one that we settled on, it's a sour mash recipe. It's sort of a bourbon recipe. And the corn we're using is grown here in Boca. It's grown here by a farmer that lives here in the village and he grows it on the, the mountains here behind us in the jungle. He plants it just before rainy season and he leaves it just to mother nature, the sun, the winds and everything. No additives, no coloring. We uh, buy used French oak barrels that have been used once with red wine. We rechar them to our specifications. Plus our fermentation tanks, they aren't sealed. They're open to the atmosphere. The finished product is unique. It's, it's definitely a Mexican whiskey. Some people taste it and they say it's a bourbon and some people say it's a scotch. It's, it's uniquely Mexican whiskey. Once we had a, it in the barrel and we thought we had what we, we were satisfied with what we had. Then we went out to the public, we went to some of the bars, uh, Murphy's Irish Pub and the Melicon. Well, I knew immediately, I'm a whiskey drinker myself. Uh, I enjoyed trying whiskeys from all over the world. Of course, since it's an Irish pub, I'm, I'm partial to Irish whiskeys. Um, but I knew after I tasted Dorward what a special whiskey it was. Very consistently, the reaction that I get when, when I sell Dorward whiskey is, is always positive. We got some restaurants handling it, and then they got a Saturday's farmer's market here right down in, in the part of the yard, and we joined that and started giving samples and selling it there. And so I guess once we found out that the public was accepting of it, I mean, we've got people who come back every Saturday to pick up their supply. Dorwit whiskey is really a one-of-a-kind for Mexico. It's the first Mexican whiskey distillery. Uh, it's made with all Mexican products. It really has that element of having been not only made in Mexico, but created in Mexico. In January, we had a call from a Roy Nichols from Scotland, and he said he'd heard about our, our whiskey, and they were writing a book, and they wanted to feature our whiskey in their book. And at the end of the conversation, it was, it was interesting because he told Larry, he says, now, go build your empire, which inspired us and motivated us to push forward. We were approached by the local Walmart to want they were wondering if uh, we would be willing to let them try it in their local stores here to see how it worked. We've been approached by a couple of distributors in the States that would like to handle it. The end goal is to build the, the new distillery so that we can be producing 100,000 liters a month. We need $350,000 to be able to do that. That'll give us larger stills, larger fermentation tanks. It'll do everything to bring us up where we can actually start exporting it into the States. All the whiskey that they drink here is imported. So we saw the opportunity, and then we started talking to some people that are in the industry, and they're recommending to us that the name didn't fit even for Mexico, and for exporting, it didn't fit. It would make people think of tequila when you're making a whiskey should have a different name, so that's when we changed it to Dorwood. In our Indiegogo campaign, we were offering you an opportunity to be a part of our company. We have three new bottle designs and four new label designs. With each contribution, you can vote on which bottle and label design you feel would be the most marketable in a worldwide whiskey market. We're ready to build our empire, and with your support, we'll take Dorwood whiskey around the world. Salute!